Hi, this is your host, Sapnil Bharatiya, and we are here at Cupan Cloud Native Con in Salt Lake City here at Utah. And we have with us once again my favorite CEO of this ecosystem, Anne Schlemmer, CEO of Percona. And it's great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me again. Nice to see you here. It's nice to see you. This ecosystem is a bit different than the open source ecosystem that we talk about, that it has grown tremendously. And once again, when we look at a lot of, you know, the work that Linux Foundation is doing is that making people comfortable with open source, you know. So, so I want to start with when you come to shows like KubeCon, what kind of open source vibe do you feel here? Well, so this morning at the, at the keynotes, it was talking about um, the CEO of SUSE was saying like, if only he had open source early in his career, how awesome would that have been? So understanding that it, it really is ubiquitous now, but it's all about community. So how do we continue to drive and build the community aspect, even when we have all of the commercial pressures that we have? So I think it's a, it's a great vibe. And it's also it's the great thing about KubeCon is just the amount of learning that people are doing and the exchanging of ideas. But really, that I see that hunger of tell me more. What are you doing? How are you doing that? And a lot of a lot of companies and people here really on that cutting edge. Even though Kubernetes has been around for ten years, there's still like in our space with data on Kubernetes that still feels a little bit of infancy and a little shaky grounds. Yet we see year over year how that just that continuing at Percona we see the adoption. But it's also reflected here within the community and the data on Kubernetes community was talking about it yesterday um, as well as what, and they're seeing more and more workloads in production. So it's awesome. Let's also talk about, you know, of course we cover Percona on a regular basis to so our audience. They do know very well Percona in open source and data space, but let's explain Percona from this ecosystem's perspective. Right, so it's, we have been in the Kubernetes space since 2018 and, and, and working with the operators. And this year we've put out Everest, which is really the only open source cloud native DBAS alternative, right? For pr private DBAS and looking at that. So that, that's where we play. It's bringing our expertise here, um, taking all that that we know in the database and then putting it in with Kubernetes and making sure people are performant. Um, yeah, so that's why that's where we that's where we land and um, great to be a part of this community and we continue to contribute and as you're saying you know kubernetes has been around for 10 years you know but when you look at the databases you know it looks like it's still very early stage. so talk about uh, how because initially kubernetes was more of a stateless workloads now we are looking at stateful workloads so how folks are looking at uh, of course databases and uh, what kind of uh, struggles, challenges, apprehensions uh, they feel, and how Percona comes and addresses some of those challenges. Right, so if you see um, the data on Kubernetes community just released their 2024 report and saying that yes, it, it, adoption has increased, and yet <laughs> there's still challenges in terms of making sure that it's as performant as it needs to be, right? So the work that We've always done, I actually kind of smiled this morning on, the, on one of the keynotes, they said that we've had the definition of good and now we're adding performance to it. And I was like, hmm, I would say that we've always had performance as a definition of good. And then bringing that into the Kubernetes space as well and understanding just the vitalness of your data being performant, being secure, and making sure that we continue to contribute that to that, to the marketplace. And also seeing, I mean, What's the buzz? Of course, AI. But are people really talking about data? You need your data. You need it to be performant, right? How do you have access to it? So that's where that's where we fit in, in into that story. We understand and know databases. Kubernetes is a way to do it in a performant way, but also really with all those modern workloads as well. Uh, can you also give some more details about the data on Kubernetes community? community? Uh, what are the players who are involved there? Uh, how is the community growing? So the community, like I said, they just put out their report. Um, we've been a part of that community for a few years and, and continue to grow in terms of there's a Slack, there's a Slack group, they have a mailing list, but it's really, again, that multi-vendor, if you will, 
contributions going there and, and just really making sure that if you want to have that full stack, the whole infrastructure and take the advantage of Kubernetes in general, you have to have the database space in there. And so that, that community, as I said, it continues to grow and we're seeing that adoption in those improvements and we know that we need to continue to improve and we're, and we're dedicated to that as is the community is dedicated to doing that. And it's, a, you started with like, how's the open source vibe here? That's exactly it, right? That is that community and that vibe and pulling it together and we're better together. And, and, and you see that, you see that in that, in that particular community for sure, you see that drive. Right, and when you look at data or databases, you know, I mean, people say, you know, we kind of live in a data-driven world, kind of way, and there is no single data or database. You know, there are different, you know, kind of structure, unstructured, depends on what kind of space you are operating in. So when you look at, you know, kind of Kubernetes in general, this ecosystem, what kind of trends you are seeing in terms of data and databases, where you are also saying, hey, these are great trends, that's where Percona fits in very well, or these are the trends where Percona has to evolve. Sure. Well, I think that the trends where where we fit in really well is understanding, particularly in the enterprise space and what you just said, nobody's using just one database, right? And so that's where, particularly with Everest, being able to have that platform, that an open source database, you can do it, right? We, we've put in the three that, that we're already on and we, and we have roadmap for others that don't necessarily are distributions, that others can be using it because we understand that that's, that's, where, the spa that's where the space is. So continuing to, to improve upon that, adding more alternatives for folks and really in, and really not only being that thought leader, but putting out that technology so that customers can run their business. Like really know that they're, know that their data is secure, know that it can scale and be performant and, and with their whole infrastructure that's in Kubernetes, how do they do that in the most effective way? Yeah. Can you talk about what kind of presence Percona has at this event this year? We're a sponsor. Um, we're a silver sponsor here, so we have a booth. Um, Sergey Pronin, our uh, product manager, he had, he had a talk and was on a panel earlier today. And then yesterday, we also sponsored the data on Kubernetes track as well. And so we, uh, Peter Zaitsev, our founder, spoke, spoke at that as well. And so we're, yeah, we continue to be giving and, and participating in the community um, and making sure that we're prominent and having those conversations. What kind of discussions you have had with attendees? Some of it is just folks understanding who we are, how we can help them, right? There's always that introduction, but then really hearing from them and what are, what are the problems and concerns that they're having? What are they needing? What are they needing to do? So that's what we're getting from folks is, is, you know, tell us more. We've been doing a lot of demos for Everest so that people really get that look and feel and understand what is possible, which they haven't necessarily seen before. So it's, um, it's a great opportunity to just engage, right? They, I mean, the online communities are fantastic, but it doesn't ever be just having that, that connection in person. I mean, since you, you or Percona has a non-compromising approach towards open source, you know, very, you know, steadfast, you know, open source means open source. And here at uh, KubeCon or Kubernetes is some, uh, a new project, not that new anymore, as you said, you know, Kubernetes is growing. Open Tofu, that was the whole license chain happened at Hashi and it's getting good traction there. So we have had this discussion earlier in terms of companies saying, are you seeing any worrying trend in the Kubernetes space or you know, the whole cloud native space similar to that we have seen otherwise? And once again, what are your thoughts on that, that community is responding in time, we don't have to worry, the community is in good place, good shape. So you know, one of the topics that we're hearing that have been going on or, or you know, talk around is, scaling by credit card and what does that look like and that tends to be from companies that are building on top of open source but not truly being open source so when we hear those conversations it's it's kind of a rinse and repeat for us like yeah you should be looking for a true open source alternative there are other ways to do it where you continue to get the value we believe that we give you that value lower to total cost of ownership, and you can be in open source and get all the benefits of it. So when, when you hear folks around here talking about, oh, 
feel like we're scaling by credit card. Is there another way? Yeah, there is another way. And, and talk about it and see what that is and really evaluate what, what do you need? What's the value? I get some of it feels ease or that expertise, but really checking that out. So I think that those are still that scaling by credit card isn't exclusive in the Kubernetes space. We've heard it overall, overall, but we're hearing it here as well. So that tells me that we can still find a better way to do things. And once again, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about Percona, the whole ecosystem. Thanks for great insights. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Can't wait to see you again.